Good day farmers. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. We are still on Halt Billaron. Um really because I'm waiting for the UK map to come out. But being a very busy time. It is January the 17th. It's just coming up for lunchtime, 12 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what we've done is, apart from buying a heap of field, I'll have a real PC. Now I'm on triple screen, so some of this you probably won't see. Um, basically, 43, 44, uh, well, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 37, 38, 39, 35, 36, 32, 33. That's what we've bought. Uh, so we've been pretty busy. We'll quickly nip across to the yard. Um, I'll show you what's been going on. So, uh, jump to that. Some dashboards, three running. Thank you, the farm sim guy. We've got the guidance running program there. Well, Croy, the one on the screen. And farm sim guy, the fence, being at that side. So, those who don't have sim dashboard, uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description. Um, download it from there, pretty straightforward. Or check out Sim Farm, Farm Sim Guy. The Farm Sim Guy's channel. So, what we've got is, first of all, company chickens. Walking away there, quite a thing. A uh, couple of greenhouses here, with everything in it. Cheap. So there. We've got the lime factory for production there, which basically, if you've seen the new Terraform, Terraform app, um, mod, which is awesome, basically you can do all the landscaping without having to go into the actual program to do it. So, I'll show you that as well. Greenhouse is there as well, coming on nicely. Sheds, as you can see, I think you saw that in the last one. The only addition would be, I think, down that area. Uh, cow shed. They're all doing well too, I think. Let's have a quick look at it. All healthy. Got five of the old, older ones. So they've, um, they're producing nicely yet. Well, we've got 18 litres, so... Sheep, still 100% health. Plenty going on there, we've got some wool already. Chickens, 100%. That's six months. They've now got plenty of food in that. You don't need to water them because it's a bought, fact, uh, bought um, shed, so it comes with the water supply in it. So. All looking good. A couple of storage here. That's for the some feed for the cows. Straw for the cows. A lime production. There we did actually lime a couple of fields down here. So as soon as we get seeding, we can actually. Oh, look at all the road here. Hello, girls, boys. Oh, you just jumped through my shed, my greenhouse. And through the chicken. <laughs> That's pretty cool, that. Anyway, right, so what we'll do is skip across to a plowing, which was this. Now, I've started developing a bit of land. Um, Probably just run from here. Out. 
but let's get a worker going on this just to finish it off. I've been doing most of the work. Right, we'll leave him running. Right. So up here, across the road, I'm developing a bit of, a bit of land that is owned by us to put up another shed, basically. Because I haven't got enough sheds. Uh, where was it? Over here. Of course, we'll have the terra farm, terra farm, able. So what I've done is I've kind of made a road. That's our field as well. So I've made a road coming across, coming in, and I did this bit here, which is probably in the back of the lorry I'm going to be. Clearing it, and I'm going to be clearing a bit here to put up another shed. So this is pretty awesome. I'll quickly demonstrate it. Um, show you guys. Dracken as usual. I've been speaking to a company or um, developers to um, Head Dracken. Now, their name is I Wear Beam. Um, which they use an iPhone for eye tracking, head tracking. Basically, you can use any kind of feature on your face by the looks of it. But they didn't have it for Android. So I got a message from them yesterday saying that um, they were trying to contact me regarding their development for an Android app. So you can use your mobile phone as head tracking. So um, I'm looking forward to them getting in contact with me regarding the uh, or how far on they are but um development of <coughs> head tracking or an android but, right we've got it enabled if I just come up here and just change the mode to smooth. Digging and all the rest of it. I haven't got that set as that. I've just got it for basically landscape and planting. I come as far as here. And I want to go that direction. Um, some guys actually got a bulldozer for doing this. I haven't got that yet. It's still in development. Obviously, he's getting early access. Got a lump in the ground there. I have to dig that out a bit. Really, when you just keep good, just go back and forth, basically. 
and it flattens everything out for you. Mm -hmm. Smooth and everything. You take your time. Yeah, a rush job. You can see how it works. It doesn't gradually, you know, so you don't have the suddenly boot ground goes down. It's awesome. I'm really enjoying this and it as farm sim guy says, I mean it's a lot more realistic and it's a game changer as they say. Because <laughs> you can do your own landscape and you can build your own roads and um, well entrances. Stuff like that so you can get access to fields that they don't actually have an area where you can get into. So you can see just that little bit. We're still on this map, it's, um, I'm still waiting for UK maps to come out, I'm a big UK map fan. I stay in the middle of nowhere, so in the farms around here, um, they do have big ones, but uh, small roads, more twisty roads, twisty fields, no, they're not just um, square. Um, round corners <laughs> fields. They're the straight edges, you know, so that's the kind of thing that I'm in and waiting for, but I'm liking this map. Right. See, that's an area in a clear. We could probably get shed down there. Oh, the ground's still a bit high here. Hopefully, we can flatten oh, that down a little bit. And it is just a case of going back and forth. Forward and back. It does. Move that off. Definitely see that it's good and off. We could actually put a shed in here now. Made ourselves a road to make us act as well, just a little bit on the last corner on it. Wider, you know, for the bigger tractors. Those are, those are quite big equipment. demonstration I'm really wanting into the smooth smoothness of the um, so now I'll set it that we're going I'm digging in so the head tracking I use I mean it's an, it's an old one now it does the job Bucket full of stones in this. You only get stones in this one, but I, I believe they're development so you can do dirt as well for that map. Um, so I'm really looking to get a 
head first, kind of upgrade it. I don't want to go for the back IR because it's too bloody expensive to start with. You know, I've got plenty of old mobile phones I can use. thing about the stones is take them back to the yard, stick them in my line production, back press, and I've got free lime spread in my field. It's not quite flat. On my way home, stumbling on the pavement, on the pavement, yeah, yeah. No yeah. sleep. Gonna have to abandon that and we're gonna have to look for other ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked. And that'll work. 
shop here. Right, let's abandon that at the moment. We'll get back to that. So, that's what I've done so far on this map. In January, there's nah much to do, apart from just keep an eye on the animals. It's obviously, I sacrificed a bit of um, field here for um, the animals. I was going to put potatoes in here, but then I thought, I'm going to pick them, because the only machine we've got for and potatoes is the big one. You know, like the um, potato harvesters. That's the size of them. So, not hoping hell it's getting into that little space, so. That's a pity, I'm gonna have to think of something else to put in here. I did think about another greenhouse, but then uh, I've got to get access to get all this stuff. So, maybe just grass it and just keep it neat. Get a little stone picker and pick that up. But apart from that, still liking the map. It's still doing well. Um, the biggest seller on Steam, I believe. Which is good. So, that's really all I can do at the moment. Go and check on. He's done. So, then come back to the yard. Because, I don't know. Yeah, well, I've got that field across here as well. I've got stones to pick out of it. I don't have a stone picker, I don't think. Leave that, <coughs> leave that for then another video. We'll get back to the yard anyway. You know what I need to do at some point is um, wash all my equipment. I will get that done. The fan is being used with a big, big plug. See it there. Find another field with. In fact, no, I hope I, I we are, and that we, an answer to say, you got it made, here you go. <laughs> video for you anyway with a, an update on what I've done I'm getting on the new development of a bit of land over there I've um, decided to dig into the side of the hill to up to another bit of, bit of, it's not a shed really but you can probably do a little farm over there but anyway hope you've enjoyed it remember like, comment, subscribe, 
uh, share it if you wish and um, keep supporting me um, any donations in the description so enjoy the rest of your day guys and um, we'll see you again very soon take care and bye for now